Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Indianapolis, already known as the racing capital of the world, now the state of Indiana gaining traction as a global leader in the life sciences sector, specifically when it comes to the $6 billion nuclear medicine market. In fact, just this week, the state trademarked the phrase radiopharmaceutical capital of the world. Bioscience companies like Spectron RX, Novartis, and Ray's Bio all growing their footprint in Indiana and making a big impact on new treatments for cancer patients. We're going to help transform the lives of patients with cancer here in Indiana and around the world. This new facility is truly state of the art. There's no better home for it than right here in Indianapolis. It is a sign of enormous momentum. Big Mo indeed. Indiana already the number one state in the nation for life sciences and pharmaceutical exports, which uh, add up to nearly $50 billion in economic impact for the state. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has been following the radio pharma revolution in Indiana from the get-go, and Kylie has much more on the story. It really started gaining traction a few years ago. Experts we talked with this week say Central Indiana is now not only the best place for radio pharmaceuticals in the U.S., but in the world. And now Purdue University adding to its might, announcing it will be the first in the country to launch a graduate degree in radio pharmaceutical manufacturing. Two, one. An undeniable business boom is underway in central Indiana. Already home to the nation's largest cluster of radio pharmaceutical companies, the hub is hotter than ever. Just days ago, Ray's Bio, which is Bristol Myers Squibb radio pharmaceutical business, cut the ribbon on its new production plant in Indianapolis. Novartis, which opened its indie manufacturing facility just two years ago, is already expanding, adding an additional plant to the campus. It's a level of growth surprising even those in the industry. If I was to try to predict this five years ago, uh, no way. You know, we, it wasn't uh, even on the uh, radar. Um, it's been pretty amazing. Radio pharmaceuticals are the newest frontier in cancer treatment. Traditional radiation therapy can damage surrounding healthy tissue near the tumor, but radio pharmaceuticals are much more precise. Radioactive atoms are attached to another molecule that takes the radioactivity directly to the tumor to destroy only the cancer cells, protecting healthy tissue. Each radioactive drug must reach the patient in less than five days from the moment it's made, so the FedEx hub in Indy, the second largest in the world, is a major advantage. And Purdue, home to the largest nuclear medicine pharmacy program in the nation. As we watch the number of drugs that are in the pipeline and that are coming to market in the next few years, um, it, it's just going to continually increase the need for those pharmacists. Purdue, now the first in the U.S. to launch a graduate degree for radio pharmaceutical manufacturing. We're looking at a, a huge increase in the number of doses with these Theranostic agents that we are seeing hitting in the market. So we will definitely need to have more and more trained folks in this space. Purdue tapped Indianapolis-based contract manufacturer Spectron RX to partner on the degree. Having that master's degree uh, is really important for the industry at whole, uh, just because that training, once again, is, is uh, something that's very important and lacking in our, in our field. As part of the new graduate program, Spectron is creating a training center at its plant complete with clean rooms and quality control equipment. Students will also learn how to respond to a spill. In the nuclear medicine world, that's likely just one or two atoms. You really don't want to mock up a spill in your active facility. So this is a, in this training facility, this practice facility, you know, that's probably one of the most interesting things that we can do is you know, mock up that spill and then teach people how to react to that spill. The $6 billion nuclear medicine market is expected to more than triple in the next seven years with Indiana at the epicenter. No way I would even would have seen this, you know, two years ago where we're at today. So I, I, only, I can only imagine that uh, with the success we're seeing and the patient life uh, we're improving, or extending that this is only gonna grow more. And Indianapolis is a perfect location for that. Indiana showing its might in medicine's next frontier.
Fascinating story, uh, Kylie. And back to the whole trademarking of uh, radio pharmaceutical capital. Right. What, what's Indiana, what's the state going to do with that? Well, so Bio Crossroads led that push, mm -hmm. which is the state's life sciences initiative. And they said this sector is moving so fast. It's really about Indiana staking its claim first. And it gives Indiana a competitive edge in a very competitive yeah. market, which helps attract investment, talent. So it's really just about helping leverage what we have here and giving it an official title. <laughs> Thanks for being on top yep. of it. We'll talk to you Always. soon.